Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time! And let's play The Legend of Dragoon! Today we gotta take on the Giganto, Kongo! So, let's see. Let's just start with our regular attacks. Now, the thing is, with additions, if you fail to complete an addition, even if you never see the orange counter marker there, he'll still knock you back for massive damage. Like this! Just let it go through. You still deal your damage anyway, but yeah, he deals a little more damage to you. So yeah, you gotta make sure you complete your additions there. This guy's a little faster than us, ironically. But we'll see what we can do. If I need some healing, I may have Labbits throw a healing potion. We're getting pretty darn, darn close to 50%, but I think we'll be fine for now. Would have been nice if I could have had a chance to heal before the finishing off the last battle, but the ninja just split up instantly again, and, well, what can I do? I would not recommend using the healing breeze in this fight, because Kongol doesn't have... Well, okay, I guess he does have a multi-targeting attack. I forgot about that one. But still, there's only two of us. I would save healing breezes for instances where uh, we're dealing... We have three party members, and we're dealing with multi-targeting attacks. Which is not here. We don't have three party members. Okay, let's see how we can do here. Fortunately, the early additions are pretty slow compared to the faster ones. And there's not as many hits to potentially screw up on. Ow. Well, thank you for not throwing me into the flaming tree. Would be nice to get another turn to Lavitz there to heal up. Please? Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, you just stick on healing duty there, Lavitz. I'll take care of business. I got the more powerful addition anyway. Ow. Now, I'm, I'm already down to 50% almost. Yeah, when you see your HP numbers go, or turn yellow, that means that you're below 50% of your max HP. If they're red, then you're below 25%. But anyway, okay. Um, Yeah, we'll just keep on attacking there. Wow, we're doing actually surprisingly well in this fight. Considering I didn't start with max HP. Man, this guy's fast. Or at least relatively fast. Maybe I should have had Dart defend there. And eh, we'll be fine. But yeah, all of Kongol's attacks are physical attacks. So, yeah, I guess having another Night Shield could have been better. But I didn't think it would be worth the money. And we're doing fine as it is anyway. Okay, so I have to throw a potion every other round. But we've got so many of them, it's not like we're going to run out. And I didn't even have to buy any any of those. And how many volcanoes does it take to kill a Congo? Whoa! Hail! Screw! Nuts. How can we possibly defeat that guy? Can we use a Deus Ex Machina? Deus Ex Machina! Whoa! Oh, where'd that come from? Yeah, kick ass! 
Uh, good, good job, dirt. Knocked him flat. Well, I was gonna say flat on his ass, but no, he knocked him on his head. But close enough. Go team! Oh, hey, it's the lady from before who only wears one pant leg for some reason. Are those like cat ears or is that like a headband or something? I think it's just a or hairband. I think it's a hairband she's wearing or something. But anyway, well, we get an offensive accessory. Boost your, uh, your attack power by 10. And that's pretty nuts. Not anymore. Ha ha. I don't know. Oh, how'd you pull that one off? Well, he has a unique character sprite. Of course he can't die. Where are you going to run to? There's no exit that way. Maybe they blew a hole in the wall or something. He got over there somehow. Maybe there's another gate that they just don't show on screen. Oh. Oh, you gotta use the bathroom? Oh. Nuts. Well, I guess everything worked out okay? What's the problem? We're all alive. I hate it when people say, you should be thankful. Yeah, that makes me feel so much better. Yeah, what was, what was all that about? Yeah, what did you do to him? Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, she's kind of my guardian angel, I guess. I don't understand. But, uh, well, she saved my life. So, yeah. She's kind of important, I guess. Well, she was just in the right place at the right time. Yeah, my, my hometown was kind of being burnt to the ground again. So, yeah, sorry I didn't thank you for that. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, what is it? We have that? Oh, okay, uh, I, I guess I do. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. What do I do with that thing? Yeah, I just thought it was a shiny pebble. Fraggle pebble? No, no, not in this game. I need to find a way to watch that movie this holiday season. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Because she can do it too? Well, we do now. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Oh, yeah, well, here we are. Apparently. What do you mean? Sorry if I'm going through the dialogue a little quickly there, viewers. Well, yeah, the king told them so, or... Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of something else, but no. You got it right the first time. Well, you only just met, but 
Sure. Oh. Nice. Well, yeah, you are, you are pretty damn powerful. Oh. Didn't we already know about that, though? I mean, we knew we, there is something going on here and over there. Well, we survived. Barely. Oh. Well, you remember that lady was talking about the volcano? Well, maybe we should check it out. Okay. How's it going? Oh, yeah, that would be a problem. What rest of the nights? Yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, actually, we do. We were kind of there the last time. Well, Dart was, anyway. Oh. Yeah, I suppose not. Couldn't we just, I don't know, command the dragon? I mean, that's what you said dragons do, right? Oh, I guess now, sure. Well, I thought we just told them what to do, but that works too. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah, we can take them on. Why not? How hard could he possibly be? Yeah, I love that scene when they uh, played the music earlier. That gives me goosebumps every time. <laughs> I don't know if I'd put it over Edge's Rage there, but it's up there. It's pretty damn cool. Well, the battle's over now, so we got plenty of time to deal with that. Well, that would be a problem. That's a bummer. Oh, sounds like a great idea. More party members. What's that sound? Oh. Nice. So they sent the Giganto here and the dragon over there, I guess. We can take him. Well, at least we survived. But anyway, let's see. Before we leave, let's see. Let's take a look at our party here. Can I replace yet? Yes, we can. Okay. Yeah, definitely bringing in Rose to replace Shauna because Shauna has nothing to really work on. So I'm not worried about that. But Rose does come with her own additions. And let's see. We're doing pretty good there. Hmm, a little further ahead than I thought I'd be on that. And you're doing okay there. What's going on? Oh. Yeah, it's magic armor. I don't know if I'd go that far, guys. But whatever works for you. Oh. Well, then how do we do that, then? Can you tell us about how we work this thing? Shouldn't you have a question mark at the end of that? But anyway, now we get tutorial time! You don't actually have to go through this. If I selected the other option, she would have just said, Well, you might want to get in some practice before you leave or something. You could talk to her again and go through the t tutorials, but 
Anyway. So, how does this all work? Let's see. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to go through Dragoon Editions. Dragoon Skip Magic, you use MP to cast it like any other game. In order to do a uh, transformation, you have to accumulate SP, or I forget what SP stands for, like spiritual points or power or something or other. But anyway, yeah, in order to transform into a tra Dragoon, you have to have at least 100 SP. And you see the SP bar at the bottom there? For every number or level that you have there, you have SP in order to, or 100 of the, that SP there. So let's transform into a Dragoon here. Now for all the SP that you have, you can stay as a Dragoon for that number of turns. So in this case, since I had 100 SP, I can stay as a Dragoon for, well, just one turn. But if you get more Dragoon levels, you can accumulate even more SP. So each level you gain as a Dragoon will, uh, what is it? Will give you another turn that you could stick around as a Dragoon if you so choose. So anyway, yeah, we got the the additions as a dragoon are a little different than well, a lot different than the regular ones. So basically, you see that beam of light there. Every time it crosses that top part there, that's when you want to press the X button. But you kind of have to give yourself a little leeway. So what I like to do is press the X button when the little sparkle of light is at 11. 10, 9, and 8 o'clock, because we're going to have to hit it four times after it gets started there. So let's see if I can do that. It's pretty damn difficult to pull off. Nice. I can usually get the first four good, but the last one is really hard to pull off. They get faster with each rotation that it does. Let me see if I can get that going again. Now, since this is a tutorial, we can just stick around as a Dragoon indefinitely as far as we care. So let's try again. Nuts! Okay, one more try, and if I don't get it, I will just keep on trying until I get it right. Uh, I'll just keep on f failing off-screen, essentially. Okay, let's, uh... Come on, third time's a charm, Dart. Try that one more time. Yes! Yes! Got it! Woohoo! Yeah, getting that perfect rating is really, really hard to do. Okay, I think that's enough there. I'll go over SP and Dragoon levels in just a moment, viewers. I kind of glossed over it there. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, well, you know, let's see what the tutorial can say about that. Yeah, let's check it out. It's a little confusing if you haven't done it first. Okay, spiritual power, spirit points. Okay, I got them a little mixed up, but same difference, really. So, anyway, whenever you perform an addition, you will get some amount of SP. You can see that in the lower left. And then the total in the lower right there. So you basically keep on doing that until you get your SP meter all the way up to 100 there. Now one other thing about Dragoons that they don't really explain very well is that in order to gain Dragoon levels, it's kind of like regular experience levels. You have to accumulate experience in order to gain levels. In this case though, you accumulate SP, and as you gain more and more SP, that kind of it accumulates a hidden experience meter. They don't show it in the game. So you want to make sure you get a lot of SP as you're going through the game, because it counts towards your total 
SP that you've generated, and over time, you will get Dragoon levels as a result of that. And w whenever you gain Dragoon levels, you get 20 more MP, and you'll sometimes... Oh, you'll sometimes get a new spell, too. And you can get up to a maximum Dragoon level of 5. Really, I wouldn't worry too much about uh, Dragoon levels. As long as you're maxing out your additions, you will probably get up to max Dragoon level by the time by the time we get to the end of the game anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh, Dragoon transformation. Yeah, I, I, when I set it to short, or set Morph to short there, that's what they were talking about there. So now we don't have to go through that long animation every single time we transform into a Dragoon. Now as far as using Dragoons goes, you pretty much want to reserve it for boss fights, really. Oh, they do tell you about this. Okay, well they don't really uh, go into it in too much detail there, but yeah, basically... You'll, you'll gain Dragoon levels as you accumulate SP. Even if your meter is already full on SP, you'll still accumulate SP towards your running total to gain more Dragoon levels there. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's also uh, spirit potions that you can find in the game that work like a regular potion except in sort of restoring HP it restores your SP and that from what I've heard that even counts towards your running total of SP to gain Dragoon levels as well so that might be something to keep in mind in general I don't really worry about spirit potions that much but it is an option there so now we have to go over to the marshland and you don't have to go to the seventh fort there to help the guys out but it's a really good idea because we're going to be able to get some pretty good stuff out of it can we save the seventh knighthood and before it's too late though find out next time on let's play the legend of dragoon this is hg bailey signing off have a good day